Hi everyone, this is Lori here with Lori Hooks. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So today is the introductory video for the Hooked on Wreaths Summer Edition collaboration that I am doing with Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas. Hi Rebecca. So Rebecca and I will both be releasing videos today introducing the summer wreaths that we are going to make for the summer season. So if you're new here and uh, you haven't heard about this before, uh, Rebecca and I are doing a collaboration for 2023 where we make a wreath for each season. So um, spring has passed. So we did our spring wreaths earlier this year. Um, and I will link the playlist that includes all the videos for that for those wreaths in the description box below if you'd like to go and check them out. And if you are not checking out Rebecca over at Yarn and Pajamas, run on over there and check her out. She's a lot of fun and she makes a lot of fun things. So check her out if you are not, which I'm sure you are, but if you're not, go give her a check out. Anyways, so um, four weeks from today is June 21st and June 21st is the first day of summer. So um, today I'm going to talk about my wreath that I'm going to make for summer and I will show you the materials that I'm going to use for my wreath and then in two weeks we will give you an update on the wreath show you where I'm at so far and then on June 21st will be the final video where we show the final release of our wreaths and um, yeah so that's what we are up to so um, summer wreath um, much like the spring one, um, you know, and I was thinking about what I was going to do, I get online and I start Googling and searching around and looking at different things and trying to find something that to me screams summer that I want to hang up for my summer wreath. Now, um, I couldn't find anything that I really was jumping out at me that I wanted, but I was seeing a lot of summer images and summer patterns for images of things that I do like and things that were talking to me. So I decided to, instead of making a wreath that's a pattern wreath that's something that's already out there, I decided, okay, you know what, I'm going to put my own wreath together and I am going to insert the things on, put the things on my wreath that I think scream summer to me and hopefully it all works out and hopefully I love it when it's done and I'm sure I will but I guess we're going to find out over the next four weeks. So in order to make a wreath the first thing that you need is a wreath. So this is my wreath. It is a 14 inch foam wreath. Um, I purchased this from Michaels. It's called a Floriform. Um, these are about I think they're $6.99 at Michael's here in Canada. They're either $6.99 or $9.99. Um, I used my coupon and I got 30% off on mine. So that is my foam wreath. So the next thing that I'm going to do with my foam wreath is I am going to cover it up. And um, this time to cover it, I decided to choose this very bright colored pink and it's showing up slightly brighter on the camera than it is for real. Maybe it's closer to that, but it is a very bright pink. It is almost fuchsia. It's not quite there, but it's almost fuchsia. It's very bright pink. So this is Loops and Threads Impeccable, and the color name on this is Lippy. Lippy. I would have never guessed that one. But Loops and Threads is a four weight yarn and um, I want something that's going to quickly cover up my wreath and going to cover up very well because we don't want that green showing through on there. So I picked up this bright pink and I think this was bright and summery. Um, so I was looking for bright colors for this one. So on to my ideas that I had, because that was kind of the baseline. You know, I needed a wreath and I need a base color. 
and the pink was what I picked. So then the next thing that I thought about was for what screamed summer to me. So in summertime, um, we try to go camping as much as we have time for. Um, some years, that's a lot more than others. Last couple years, we haven't gotten out that much. Hopefully we will get out this more this year. But yeah, that's what I think of is camping. And um, at one time, I was a tent camper. And then I got older and decided that tent camping was a little too much for me. So we got a little trailer. And now we have a bigger little trailer, but we still have a pretty small trailer. Um, there's enough room in there for my husband and I and our daughter and our dog, but it is pretty crowded, but we have a little trailer. So anyways, our little trailer, if I was to make up a crocheted version of our little trailer, it wouldn't look very cute, but there's lots of vintage versions of those little trailers on Google. And I'll put up a couple pictures here of two different ones that I liked. So I think I'm going to use a combination probably of one of these or the other. There are some things that I like about one and there's some things that I like about the other. Um, but these are two patterns that I found on the internet. One is from Repeat Crafter Me. I hope that's right. And the other one I think was Five Little Monsters. Um, they are both pillows. Um, I'm going to have to, and they're using worsted weight yarn. So in order to get these to fit onto my 14 inch wreath, I'm going to use some DK weight yarn. And um, because my wreath itself is going to be pink, I need to use other colors. So the colors that I chose for that are, sorry, they are buried here. And I'm knocking off my background. But for my, my RV, my vintage RV, I'm going to use this turquoise, which is Stylecraft Special DK in the color. It is turquoise. And then I have this Sheepies Color Crafter in the color Barneveld, which is like a slightly off-white. I'm going to use those two for my RV. So that's the colors for my vintage RV. Um, I imagine that I'm gonna need some black or gray as well, and I will dig some of that out of my scrappy leftover stash stuff. And as you see, both of these are used skeins. So I did not, other than that pink loops and threads and the wreath, I did not buy any yarn for this. Everything else I'm gonna use is leftover scraps or, um, you know, leftover skeins, that kind of stuff from other projects. So the next thing I think of when I think of summer is the sun. Um, so I thought a sun up in one side of this wreath would look really cute. And so I found this one of a sun and it is a free pattern. I will link it in the description box below and off the top of my head, I can't remember what the name of that pattern website was, but it will be linked in the description box below. But I found this one and I thought that it was really cute. Um, and just a quick glancing at the size, I think that I can use four weight yarn for this. We will see if my sun comes out gigantic, then I will have to drop down in the yarn size but um, I think I'm going to use four weight yarn. So out of my stash, I pulled these two different colors of yellow to use for that. So this one is some, um, uh, uh, sorry, Craft Smart Value that I picked up at Michael's at some point and the color of this is butter. And this darker yellow is Loops and Threads Impeccable and the color on this is Sunny Day. So I thought those would be cute for the sun. I haven't decided if I'm going to put a face on it the way that hers has, but I will see. Um, so yeah, so, so far we have an RV and some sun. So the other thing that happens when you go camping is you have a campfire. So again, I'm gonna put a pattern up here, a picture up here of a pattern that I found. 
and this one again I don't remember the name of the website that I picked this up on but I thought this campfire was really cute and would look really cute on the wreath I haven't really figured out because these are this is an applique and in order to make it kind of stand up on the wreath I'm gonna have to make it thicker and heavier in some way and I haven't figured that part out yet so hopefully the campfire works out but we will see but the colors that I picked out for the campfire in order to make the sizing right for my wreath I think I'm going to need to use some skinny yarn so I'm going to use some sheepies katona and these are the colors that I picked so I got some fire and the red and yellow and orange and the I have the color numbers of these but not the names the red is one 15 the yellow is color number 208 and this orange is color number 189 and I just went through my open skeins of sheepies color sorry sheepies katona and figured out colors that I thought would look best for a campfire and hopefully it all works out now with these um the sheepies katona it should come out pretty stiff so hopefully it stands up okay but again we're gonna see how that comes out so I don't know if your head is imagining things the way my mine is, but, um, and if I could draw pictures, I would draw a picture and stick it in here for you. Um, maybe I'll get really crafty and figure out a way to do that before I get this video posted. So if you see a picture in here of my final vision that looks really weird, that's probably what's in here. But, um, I'm not that great with that kind of thing, but we'll see. Um, but that's what I came up with. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is coming out. I am so looking forward to seeing Rebecca's ideas for her wreath. She did, um, you know, we were texting and she did tell me what she was thinking of using for hers, but she did not, um, you know, other than just a, like a quick little explanation, she didn't give me a lot of information about what she's doing. So I'm really looking forward to checking out her video to see what she's doing for hers. And yeah. So I welcome you in a couple weeks from now to check out our next videos where we talk about where we are at with our wreaths so far. I'm sure that there's going to be some changes and some differences and some information about what's going on then. And um, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, our final videos will be on June 21st. And I'd like to invite you, if you've made a summer wreath in the past and you would like to send me over a picture of that wreath or if you'd like to join in with us, um, I'd love to hear about yours. And um, yeah. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. Run over there and check out Rebecca's video and see what she's doing because that's where I'm going right now. And I will see you next time on Lori Hooks. Bye, everyone. <laughs>